Hi, today we're going to do a GPU um, upgrade on a Lenovo S20. Uh, we just did one of these recently on another Lenovo S20. Um, this is something I mentioned in the last video briefly, but these Lenovo S20s and S30s we found to be very good business computers. The S20s can do some pretty good um, light video editing and um, graphics design, handbrake. Um, you can run OBS Studio pretty good and some other things too. Um, the S30s can do just about anything if you have a, a good processor in there like um, we have a Xeon 1650. Um, believe either version 3 or 4 in our S30s um, so they're really capable computers um, for doing even heavier video editing and so the story on this particular S20 which is one of three that we have here in the office um, is it was purchased as a backup Kind of, we had a power supply issue when we moved our office um, a while back, and it was very bizarre. The computer, the S20, had been working for years. When we moved it, plugged it in, um, the power supply just went out. So we said, "Okay, let's get another power supply." Well, we took a look online, and um, we found a. Uh, power supply, the best we could find was like $60 for the power supply. And then we noticed this PC. And this PC was only like $90. And it was uh, basically a full PC. The only thing it was lacking was um, hard drive and Windows. And didn't have a lot of memory in it. So we're like, okay, we're just going to buy that. We're going to um, take the power or take the power supply out, fix the old computer, great, and that went smooth. So here we had the S20 case, motherboard, everything just sitting around. And at one point, we ran across a really good deal on a power supply, which we would have took in the beginning if we would have seen that, but it wasn't available at that time, and we wanted to get it back up and running. So we purchased that power supply when we saw it available for a really good price. And we said, okay, we're going to upgrade or we're going to rebuild this computer. And so that's what we did. We put another um, 5680 processor in it. They're very cheap. Um, so we did that. It's a six core, 12 thread processor. Um, put the new power supply in it. Um, upgraded it to 24 gigabytes of RAM dropped in a GTX 960 graphics card, two gigabyte, and it's been a good computer. It runs very well. It's got an SSD. Um, it, it just runs really good. Um, but today, we're going to swap out that GTX 960 with a GTX 1060. So what we're going to do there is get a slightly improved performance and another gigabyte of memory so we're going to go from a two gigabyte to a three gigabyte memory now the, the last s20 we installed a 1066 gigabyte which is actually going to be a little bit better for video editing but the three gigabyte is still going to be an improvement over the two gigabyte 960 and we actually did another system um, it was an i7-6700, and we went from a 962 gigabyte to a 1063 gigabyte, and that extra gigabyte really made a difference, and I'm sure the um, little bit of speed improvement helped too, so between those two, it was an improvement, so we thought, you know, we have this card laying around. Let's just go ahead and do it, and we want to share that with you. So we're going to switch over here, and you can take a look here at the case. 
Um, what we have here is an Asus, and it's been tested. It's a good card. It's an Asus 3 gigabyte graphics card. GTX 1060. So let's see how that works. So there are a lot of good things about the Lenovo S20. You can check out our other videos. I know I sound like a fanboy, and that's because I am. I love Lenovo's. I love um, my first computer. It was an IBM. They're just well built. Watch that video, by the way. Very interesting. Uh, over 20-year-old IBM. So, toolless. Can take the case on. Don't need any tools. Take it off. So, that's, that's good. Just pop up this on my S20. So couple things you really want to pay attention to is your wiring um, when you're working on these any computer sometimes you want to make sure you're keeping everything away from fans and stuff like that the big thing with uh, removing and reinstalling a graphics card is this little tab right here so you want to make sure that you pull that out just pull it out a little bit. Don't do it too hard. Just needs a little bit before you can release it. So just pull up gently on it and you'll get it out. So you see here, most of them will have this. So now you can see something else we like about the S20. But first you can take a look at that 960. It's still a really good card. We'll probably put it in an old computer. Um, maybe one of our giveaways. So here's something that we really like about the S20. One, it has six memory slots. Each one of these is four gigabytes. So we ended up getting 24 gigabytes. Very cheap. Very cheap. They do have eight gigabyte um, memory modules, but they're very expensive. And on this particular system, I, I just don't know when you could possibly need have 48 gigabytes of memory um, because you're, you're limited by the processor and the graphics card to an extent and so you're probably not going to see any kind of benefit worth doing all of that. We did add an SSD and a hard another hard drive in there. We have a small um, hard drive we pulled out of one of the laptops just for, you know, kicks we threw that in there um the other system has a, a lot more um storage capability this one we didn't and we don't really need a lot of storage on any of them because we have a server here and that server it's not like huge but um we're going to be upgrading it soon and it'll at that point um be about 96 I believe 96 terabytes so for our use here um, that's really good I know you hear and see some of these people can build <laughs> these massive servers and that's all nice but 96 terabytes we're proud that's good and we're actually going to be doing another video of our backup server so we're going to build a second server or actually we're going to upgrade it it's already been built um, we did a short video on that, but as we take out the drives from the main server, we're dropping them into our new backup server. Um, so it's going to back up the critical stuff from the main server. So another thing we like about these S20s is those two X16 port, um, ports there. So you could actually put in two graphics cards, not much point in that. But on our other systems that have these two, um, we put in a graphics card on the first one, and on the second one, we're putting in SATA cards. Because you're limited to, I believe it's five SATA ports here, and if you really take a little bit of time to max this out, you can go beyond that five. And so, in order to 
add a few extra hard drives, we use that. You could use the Express here, the PCI Express here, but I believe that's either a one by or a four by. Um, and the 16 by is always going to be faster. So 16 X is always going to be faster. So we're going to drop that down in there and then we're going to plug in the power and you can see here, this is going to be a six pin. Now the Lenovo S twenties have a six pin and also a six two. So you can put in just about any kind of graphics card into this system. I'm not talking about the new high-end RTXs. That would be just a crazy thing to do because um, you're going to be so CPU bound. It's it, The graphics card will never um, even come close to being utilized fully. So this is, is actually for gaming probably too much of a graphics card for this particular system. But for what we're going to use it for, which is video editing and a video editor that will use it. Not all will. So that's something that you want to pay attention to. Is your video editor actually going to use it? Some of them do, some of them don't. We're going to be using Corel Video Studio and it will. So let's line this up. Make sure we get it lined up really nicely before you start pushing it down in there. You do not want to, to break the motherboard. So let's get it lined up nice and then we're going to pop it in until it clicks. And then we're just going to check it out, make sure it's lined up nice over here. And then let's get the power cable back in. Um, I always like to just push on it lightly like that because if it's not seated, sometimes it'll rock a little bit. And that's a good indication that you, you need to take another look at. It. Now, after I do anything like this, one of the other things I like to do is just do a quick visual inspection. Maybe press down on a few things. Sometimes memory can come unseated or maybe we just didn't get it in good as we thought last time. So just take a look. Make sure everything's together. Make sure nothing's touching any of the fans. Make sure all of your SATA cables are connected, power, everything. Um, don't want anything coming loose in the process of trying to improve and upgrade the system. We don't want to run the system. So, looks like we got everything good. We're going to just close it back up. Ooh, that card is a little higher. So, that's something uh, we did not know. So we're going to probably have to pull this piece out. That's a pretty easy fix. Um, but yeah, we may have to pull this entire piece out. We've done that before. Some of these cards are a little bit higher here than others. It depends on the manufacturer. Um, this one wasn't. The last build we did with a PNY wasn't. Um, it's not really necessary. It's locked in there good. Um, this isn't going to do much good. So we don't have problem taking them out. We've done it before. So that's it. We hope you liked the video. Um, if you like it, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Share the video. Leave your comments. We appreciate you watching. Have a good day.